Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellow since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Goodfellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Let's talk some boxing. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders revealed that Golden Boy offered Sergey Devonchenko half of what he made versus Golovkin. I believe they saying that he made five million dollars versus Golovkin. I think it was five point two million. So they offered around, you know, two and a half. And for Dervinchenko, that's a good perch to me um, for a regular fight. So it sounded like Dervinchenko was going to choose to take on Jamal Charlo. Um, so hopefully he getting, you know, um, four, three, five million dollars. But for a guy like Dervinchenko, for Golovkin to get five million dollars. That's crazy. He just was fighting on FS1 versus uh, Jack Colclaw. And for a guy that's not universally known, $2 million, I mean, $5 million, that's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 a lot of money to be paying a guy like Dervinchenko. And that just lets you know how much the game is messed up in boxing. You got dude like, like I'm going to tell you, man, 98% of America's population don't even know who Dervinchenko is. To pay him Five million dollars as a challenger for a vacant world title is crazy. He's not even an established name. So we talked about Kell Brook earlier if I already uploaded that video. Um to talk about Kell Brook, you know, depending on what he wants versus Terrence Crawford, can you blame him? You got a dude that's a that's a non fucking factor in boxing as far as fans. And most hard casual fans don't even know hardcore fans don't even know Dervichenko is getting five million dollars to fight for a vacant IBF title with the middleweight division. Why should I? If I'm a fighter that's known like Tank, I'm a fighter that's known like Spence, Crawford, you know, any anybody along those lines. David Benavidez is a little guy more notoriety than him. Why would I fight for anything less than five million dollars, dude? You know, so. You know, he did now nah, he got he on his high horse, but that whole thing about it is Al would rather make the in house fight. You know, he's the last Lou DeBella fighter I think Al is working with. You know, he they exiled Lou DeBella for trying to make AJ and Wilder on his own and set that meeting up. So like I said, Wilder, you know, people talking about Wilder and his glove gate and shit. You know, and I might talk a little bit about it tonight if I go live. It, to me it doesn't matter. You know, if you're gonna take the trilogy fight, shut the fuck up and stop crying. Got love for the brother, so I don't want to hear none of that. But, you know, if that's it, you know, I want to make the in-house fight. So, you know, if Dervinchenko was making less than two and a half or, you know, whatever, you know, whatever they go to way offered him, it just it perf it's just preference. They'd rather do, you know, Dervinchenko and Charlo. You know, if he makes it significantly more. And also remember, you know, the regular WBA belt for Canelo. That is on the line, and the WBC belt, the regular belt, is just like the regular belt for the WBA now. So that's on the line. So, quite frankly, um, my personal my personal uh, preference would be Dervinchenko and Charlo. I think that's a good fight. I think Dervinchenko can win that fight. You know, not saying that he will win that fight. I'm saying I think he can win the fight because it's unfair when you play with Canelo. You know, a lot of dudes probably gonna upcharge Canelo because you know. The stories about him stacking his gloves, the story about the commissions, the drug test not being involved in Vada. You know, they were saying, you know, Eric Kelly was saying that uh, the coach was saying that Canelo's no longer doing Vada testing. The 365 program, but you see Mauricio, uh, Mauricio uh, Suleiman Jr. throwing Big Baby Miller uh, to the wolves, but he won't throw Canelo to the wolves. And don't forget when Canelo got popped for the, for the what was it, six-month suspension, he didn't have to go through drug testing protocol. So he could have been putting that shit in his ass and just cycling off of it. No, he knew exact date when they was gonna start testing, the exact date, you know, when he had to, you know, when he was about to fight. So, like I said, it's a lot of bullshit to come with Canelo. So I don't mind I don't mind Billy Joe Saunders running the checkup on Canelo Alvarez. It just excuse me, it just it makes sense. Because you basically going in there to 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 sell your all or to sell your belt. That's it. You going in there for for you getting paid to act. You getting paid 
to to win a fight that's unwinnable. So, you know, only thing you can go in there and do is do your best is get robbed. You can knock that dude out. They give him, like, ammonia, smelling salt or something to wake him back up and bring him to the ring and finish the fight off. When you got a dude that's worth, what, $35 million per fight to a company, and he still got what? He's fought Rocky Field and fight didn't count. It's a 10-fight deal. He fought Danny. Yeah, I think Kovalev. So he's still worth what? He got eight more fights on his own. Y'all think they're going to let that dude lose? We ain't lose a draw. He still got to go out there and get $35 million next fight. You crazy, especially in the financial crisis they in. So that is what it is. So it sounds like Dervinchenko and now Heyman made the decision to fight Charlo. Probably going to be on Showtime. So Showtime seems like they loading up on more fights than Fox right now. Like I said, Raymark, Gallabo, the Filipino 20-0, and well, 23-0 and with 20 knockouts is going to be fighting uh, – uh, was it Juan Carlos Pena on uh, probably Showtime? Not sure yet, but July 18th, so PBC will make their return. So the Filipinos are making some noise in boxing right now. Pacquiao can go ahead and buy a while, can he? You know, he got a lot of uh, people that's willing to, you know, take the throne and take the torch. But um, he also said that Billy Joe wanted to tune up, and then he wanted to go after Demetrius Andrade and Calvin Smith. There were some rumors that Calvin Smith might want to go up and fight Baturbia, but I, I knew those was fake. Because he looked shit like versus John Ryder, I heard. But, you know, Billy Joe wanted to tune up. His fight last fight was a tune up on the YouTube undercard. And his fight before that, he fought for the title. Frank Frank Warren, before he joined Eddie Hearn, put him in position to get, get a title. He looked trash his last couple fights. Ever since David Lemieux, he ain't looked right. And even before David Lemieux, he looked very, very sloppy. Uh, his, his, his performance, his platinum performance is going to go down as, you know, outboxing David Lemieux, which don't look so good right now. But if Lemieux beat Canelo, if they do fight, then it would look a lot better. But ever since he got pocked for that Oxifrin, you know, he just ain't look like the same fighter, you know. And to be honest, Billy Joe and Demetrius Andre will probably be the worst fights you've ever seen. That would be Willie Nelson and, and Billy Joe 2.0 over again. They just so sloppy in their approach. It, it ain't going to be a clean fight. Uh, Callum Smith might have a cleaner of the fights, but really we don't know how good he is because, is you know, it looked like he got weight problems and he really ain't been tested. He did beat a one arm uh George Groves, but other than that, what his resume indicate that he didn't done. So I I'm I would prefer probably him to fight Callum Smith in the UK with fans. Um Demetrius Andra, that's just gonna be an ugly fight. Andra got, you know, good stylistic fight with uh Dervinchenko, Charlo, even I think Canelo would be a better fight than than Billy Joe. Him and Billy Joe would just be just sloppy, swinging all over the place. I do, I would dub uh, Demetrius Zondrad, you know, to get the win over Billy Joe. Like I said, Billy Joe ain't looked that good since the Oxford Not sure where Callum Smith, you know, physically where he at, but I think a lot of, a lot of people saying Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders are two of the best in the division. They don't know shit about boxing. They haven't watched boxing in their last few fights. I'm not impressed by either one of them at, at this point in their careers. Um, I know David, uh, Danny Jenkins was saying that Callum Smith and Billy Joe is better than Caleb Plant. Like I said, we can see why you can't fight. We can see why you can't win the big one. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know shit about boxing. Callum Smith ain't shit. You know, especially he just lost to, he really lost to John Ryder. And Billy Joe, ever since the Oxyfrine, he ain't shit. You know, but everybody got their own opinions about it. But um, we had to see, man. But uh, he said he wanted to tune up. Then he wanted to take on uh, uh, Callum or Demetrius Andra. My preference would be, be fight, fight Callum. You know, if he lose, then Billy Joe Saunders probably would never establish himself in the United States as a credible fighter or as somewhat of a ticket puller. But he still hasn't established himself in the U.K. as a ticket puller. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can't sell shit out in the U.K. And it was probably why Frank Warren, you know, cut cut ties with him. You can't blame Frank Warren. You know, he let Billy Joe go do his thing. He probably was losing money fucking with Billy Joe anyway. You know, he got Yard and Boatsy. I think he got Boatsy. I don't know if he got Boatsy. He got Yard. You know, um, the boy. So develop, put more, you know, money and more, you know, pr uh, promo to develop in them. Billy, Billy Joe Saunders is just, you know, he a man, you know, without a fan base. Come on, let me know last time you met like five Billy Joe Saunders fans. They don't exist. You know, so my preference would be for like Callum Smith, you know, had a UK showdown for what? It's the, uh, Callum is the diamond belt holder. He also is a secondary mandatory to, to, um, 
to David Benavidez. A lot of people don't talk about that situation, but he is, thanks to Anthony Durrell. Um, Super WA title holder. They gave him the lineal belt, which I didn't think he deserved the lineal belt for, for winning that watered down tournament. So I, I prefer them to fight, unify, you know, the WBO and the WBA, Super WBA, you know, then maybe the Canelo look at the winner since he may be campaigning at 68 now, but he ain't gave up his 60 pound Super WBA belt. So that's something to look at. I heard uh, Chris Eubanks Jr. could, could have been, could have been elevated to super, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> he could have been elevated to super WA champion at middleweight, but <clears throat> he said that out of his mouth, but Canelo ain't gave up the belt yet, but I, Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Appreciate the love and support, man. All my links in the description. You need to get in touch with me if you got business questions, quiet response, your video requests. Also got a Facebook group. All those links in the description. Want to make a donation to the channel, cash out, PayPal, in the description one time for the one time we all.